Hey Scorpio, welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you all so very much for joining me. Let's jump right in, y'all. Those of you with Scorpio placements in your chart, this could resonate. Take what resonates, leave the rest for someone else. All right, could be past, person, or future energy. Could also be someone else in your energy field. So only take the parts of the story that resonate with you. Five cards for Scorpio. Secret work, lover, fall season, on top of the world, and single with chasing you and relocating. Move into another city or state, new scenery. Cancer, Sagittarius or Aquarius energy here with relocating. Hmm. So some of you could be connected to an Aquarius, Sagittarius or a Cancer or have those placements in your chart. It looks like some of y'all might be moving for work. And that could be happening this fall and that may lead you to meeting someone new at work we have us I, I secretly want you we can be a great team together i love that you're smart and ambitious all right some of you could be dealing with the capricorn or you want to meet a capricorn it says this is the beginning of a beautiful relationship your mind in the fall yeah some of y'all are moving for work um we have on top of the world multiple options dates booming they're ready for love and then we have single leo aries sagittarius energy here with Beautiful, curvy, bold, go get a passionate enthusiasm and courageous. Some of y'all, this might even be your boss. Look how he looks like he, he helping her or somebody that's going to be training you or something. You're going to be on top of the world, though. I do feel like you have a lot of options, but I do feel that it says you're ready for love. So I feel like a lot of you are okay being single, but you're actually going to, somebody's coming in that's chasing you. Doesn't want to leave you alone. They will keep trying. <laughs> They gonna have you feeling on top of the world. Can't be mad at that. Okay. Okay. Look at this, y'all. You can't make this up. Some of y'all are really moving for work. Eight of Wands, Leo Aries, Sagittarius energy here. Y'all are definitely moving for work. This is beautiful. Some of you could even be moving abroad. This is a lot of opportunities too coming your way. Y'all gonna have to pick up a letter here. Some of y'all suppliers are y'all about to be connected to. What's the fall season? Okay, we have uh, the Three of Swords. And I'm going to read this as a breakthrough. Some of y'all may have gone through a heartbreak recently, but I feel like you're about to overcome it. You're about to break through. Because this card is also a breakthrough card. It's not always about third parties. Although someone could have put you in the third party, could have been a Libra. So could, this could be happening in Libra season. A breakthrough is coming in for you. What's on top of the world? Two of Swords, yeah, you're going to make this decision here. It could be difficult to make this decision, but this is Libra energy as well. This may be to leave that Libra in the past if that was a Libra that if it was a Libra that you were dealing with. But some of you are making a decision here, and it may be hard because you got all of these options that you're going to have to choose from, but you're going to have to decide. And you will settle on one person here. This person who's not going to let up. They're relentless. What is a single Eight of Swords? Yeah, look at this. It could be a Gemini here. Hopefully, this is not somebody incarcerated. I just feel like this person is all in their head about you. Some of you may feel like you're unsure if you want to leave the single life. Maybe the single life is really good to you. But this person is going to continue to pursue you here. This is a feeling of being trapped, like stuck in your head about something. Some of you are just like maybe unawakened. And then this person is coming in to be your wake-up call. They're chasing you. Okay, so... Yeah, Two of Pentacles is about making a choice. It's about juggling. It's about balance. Um, some of you may feel like when you get this new job, you don't know if you can have love and work on your plate at the same time. You may not feel like you can have both going successfully at the same time, Capricorn energy. So you could be attracting a Capricorn. Bottom of the deck, relocating with the Six of Cups. Some of you could be moving back to your hometown or something here. Scorpio energy here or your job whatever you're going to be doing is going to have something to do with helping the youth or like a childhood dream come true let's see secret work lover at this new job some of y'all are moving to LA moving to California moving to Hollywood maybe you want to be in the spotlight some of y'all are like motivational speakers or something like that you speak like your voice is how you make your money, Queen of Pentacles. Definitely a lot of money in this new job. Some of you may be a boss yourself, starting your own business, relocating to start your own business somewhere, maybe on the West Coast. 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy there. You could be connected to or you're connecting to someone who's going to provide for you. This is a person that wants to cater to you. Okay, so you're um, on top of the world here is the temperance card. Yeah, a lot. Of, I mean, no, I'm sorry. I jumped ahead. It's fall season with the temperance card and the three of swords. Definitely some healing taking place here. Patiently working towards being in the dating on the dating scene again. Giving somebody a chance, but they're going to have to work hard for it. All right. Sagittarius energy. Okay. On top of the world is clarified by, what is this? The five, the five of um, wands, Leo energy. So yeah, I do feel like all these options coming in towards you, you're going to have to make a decision. People are going to be fighting over you. Conflicts over you. Oh Lord. You got people fighting over you. Okay. So what's the single life with the eight of swords? Some of y'all trapped in the single life. <laughs> Wow, we got the five of swords here. I feel like a lot of people are going to be competing for you and y'all going to have a hard time choosing who you want to be with. Wow. Hmm. Somebody's really aggressive though. It's either a fire sign or an Aquarius possibly that is chasing behind you and not letting up. Yeah, they see you as their empress. This person is very physically attractive and attracted to you and they want to take care of you. Um, they want to nurture you. They want to be nurtured by you. This is a person who's going to treat you like royalty. Libra, Taurus energy there. Some of y'all are definitely leaving behind an Aquarius or somebody who lied and cheated. Period. All right, let's get some uh, Oracle messages for you and we will be done. Oracle messages for Scorpio. Settling down. Who just got this? I don't remember. Um... It was, I think it was Libra. This is Cancer, Pisces, Virgo energy here. Somebody is going to be ready to settle down with you. They're ready to take you off the market. We have my pride is in the way. Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius energy. That's a lot of you. That's you. A lot of you are feeling like you're like sexy and having fun on top of the world. But somebody's going to come in and make it difficult for you to stay single. We have, I owe you an explanation. This will all make sense after we talk. You may not, you may not like what I have to say, but I want to be honest. So um, I told you there's some kind of difficult decision that you're going to be making, cutting off some of these options. So you are going to be exploring your options, but you're going to cut them down and um, choose one person because you're ready to settle down. Whoever's the best suitor. We have in real life, genuine feelings, authentic, being open and honest with each other. Connection is solid and secure. So you either have an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a fire sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, very heavy in your energy right now. I feel like a lot of you may be walking away from an air sign or whatever the case. Heavy on the Scorpio and heavy, I mean, um, heavy on the Libra and heavy on the uh, Aquarius. But also could be Gemini. Somebody that you catch real feelings for. You are not going to be expecting it. I feel like really for you, a lot of you, it's a fire sign and they are going to like sweep you off your feet. All right. Scorpio, those are your messages. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell and leave me a comment if you claim this or this resonated with you. All right. And I will see you all tomorrow. Peace.